traditionally real VNC invented the VNC technology, originally used for connecting to kind of desktop computers so you can use your work computer from home and so on. And basically we've just taken that exact same technology and, and put it one end in a phone and the other end in the head unit. We've then started, became Mirrorlink compliant and boon all the extra uh, Mirrorlink features on top of what we were already doing got certified and, and so on and now our stack's being used in, in production vehicles. So the idea behind Mirrorlink is that it's a standard so anyone can join the CCC and get access to the technical details of the, of the standard um, and then they can implement it and so it doesn't matter if, if it, so long as everyone's working towards that standard then everything should be interoperable and part of being Mirrorlink certified is proving that you can just get other Mirrorlink devices, plug them into your car and they'll, they'll work as they should. Basically it's always going to work over USB so typically you're going to plug in your phone into a USB cable uh, that's connected to your head unit. One thing you have to bear in mind is that there's two sides to this. There's the head unit side and there's the handset side and it's all very well if every car manufacturer in the world wanted this. If there's no phones that support it then it doesn't matter. So that has been part of the challenge for us pushing a technology like this is saying to, to one group of people um, you know, this is a great idea, you should do it. And they're interested, but they're worried that there's no available handsets. We say to the handset manufacturers, this is a great technology, you should do it. They're worried there's no cars that support it. But after, you know, a couple of years of really pushing this hard, it's now getting to the point where the big names are, are throwing their hats in the ring and, and that is, that's pulling everyone else along. So we're now getting to that stage where it's appearing both in handsets and in, in head units. And, um, like I say, it's not just us that's providing the solution because it's a standard. Uh, other people can provide the same solution, but it will work with our stuff nonetheless. And so one reason that Android's quite an easy operating system to work with, and we have our own server implementation on, on the phone, um, uh, which we did on the, on the Android system, is because it's easy for us to go into the internals of the operating system and then uh, figure out what you need. And then we can say to handset manufacturers who are using Android, this is what you need to do in order to get your Android phone to support this.